Uh, my character is a guy named Bill Borg, and uh, he is a uh, really odd and mysterious uh, tech billionaire from Iceland. Um, dog Iceland. Huh? I'm dog Iceland. I'm just making sure I have it right. Lovely people in Iceland. <laughs> uh, and uh, um, he is uh, very, very um, sort of obsessive about this possibility of uh, dreams being a, a pure form of communication. And um, he sort of stalks uh, uh, Lizzie's character until um, he can convince her to help him perfect this dreaming. Um, and then it quickly becomes uh, clear that maybe there is something afoot. Shenanigans. Uh, I'm William Lee and I play uh, Detective Taka. Um, basically, I'm a Korean pair on the show. <laughs> the thing is, is that when I first got the show, you know, I'm used to killing people, trying to take over the world, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where my mom always says, you know, you're, she doesn't believe in my acting because I don't smile in anything I do. <laughs> and uh, this show, when I got it, I was so excited after I read the pilot that I was like, I will do anything for it. And I got a phone call from Blake and he says, you have to do one thing for me. You have to eat, eat, eat till we get to the set and you cannot go to the gym, and you have to promise me that. So, I think three weeks into eating donuts, pizzas, and everything that I didn't want to eat for the past 20 years, or I wanted to eat but couldn't eat, um, I took off my shirt, and I told my wife to take a picture, and I actually looked like a Korean pear. <laughs> I looked like skinny on top, and it just went this way. And it was a show like this that allowed me to throw away my vanity and, and not go to the gym, and play this character who, you know, I think as you see in the trailers, it's what I appreciate about the show is that it took people of different races, different colors, different genders, and kind of erased it and just made us human beings. And you rarely, as a, as, you know, person of color, I'm usually the guy who pushes the button and, you know, says, Bond, you know, how do you like me now? <laughs> and this is one of those shows where I got to actually be like how I grew up speak like I speak and, and have the same feelings that I had and I think it's been erased or it just has been non-existent in television for us so long so I think everyone will just kind of enjoy it as human beings and I think as you watch the you know first episode on the uh, USA.com um, you kind of see that so I, I don't think I want to explain too much about my character except for that uh, he's, a, he's a good dream actor. <laughs> I just want to say it's my first Comic Con and it's so exciting to see so many people here. Um, about the show, I think when I read the pilot, I got really excited about a show on dreams. And I think we're in such an individualistic society that it's really nice to just have the thought that maybe our dreams could be connected somehow. I like the idea. And I think I connected to Tess because, well, she has this feeling of having, she's, she thinks she has this child and she, she has no proof or evidence in reality to prove it, but she really believes that. And I seem to have always deranged characters. I think it balances me somehow. <laughs> and yeah, I connected to Tess immediately and to Blake's universe in general. The thing people don't know about Lizzie is, I would write stuff, and she would come to me when the scripts were published, and she'd go, how did you get in my dream? I mean, there was one specific moment, which I can't spoil, blah, 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 but uh, she's like, did you know this about my past somehow? And I'd be like, no, I just made it up. But somehow, I was working on this show, there were these weird synergies that came between the cast and myself and the writers where we would invent stuff that we didn't know had these meanings and then the cast would come to us and go like, but how did you get that in my head? It's like somehow working on this thing connected us in a really weird, cool way, kind of like the premise of the show. <laughs> <laughs>